Hello! In this video, I will be setting up OpenSense on Proxmox. This will include setting up two virtual interfaces using physical USB interfaces. This can be used in place of your regular home router for extra functionality like virtual LANs, and even a DMZ if you add additional interfaces. Start with getting the ISO file. Head over to opnsense.org and navigate to Downloads. Architecture can stay as AMD64. Switch image type to DVD and change the mirror location to whichever is near you. Then click download. The ISO file is compressed so you will have to extract it. Navigate to the downloaded file and extract the ISO file using something like WinRAR. When that is done, head over to Proxmox. Here, click the drive named local in the menu to the left. ISO images. Upload and in the pop-up menu click select file. In the Explorer, navigate to where the ISO is located. Select it and click Open. Then Upload. Now to create the network interfaces. Click your node followed by Network in the menu to the left. If you select a physical interface you wish to use for OpenSense and click Edit, you can copy the name of it. Exit that window and click Create, then Linux Bridge. Paste the name of the physical port into the field next to Bridge Ports and a comment can be useful to have. If you wish to access Proxmox from the LAN side of OpenSense, you can add an IP address in the field next to IPv4 slash CIDR. Then make another virtual bridge to have one LAN interface and one WAN interface for OpenSense if you wish. You can also use the VMBR0 as WAN. When you are happy with the interfaces, click Apply Configuration followed by Yes. Now press Create VM. Give it a name before moving to OS. Here you can select the OpenSense ISO. Then you can move past system and configure disks, processor, and memory. For network, you can select one of the virtual bridges you wish to use. When you are happy with your settings, move to the Confirm tab and click the Finish button. Now, to add the second network interface. Click your newly created VM. Hardware, then add, and in the drop-down menu, click Network Device. Here you can find and select the second interface and finish with Add. Everything should now be ready for you to start the VM and open a console window. Give OpenSense some time to start up. Once you get the login prompt, there are two users you can log in as one is the root user, but to install OpenSense use the user with the username installer and OPNSense as password to start the installation. Navigate to your desired key map and press enter. Test it if you wish or press up, then enter to continue. Next up you will get a few options. I will install using the default UFS, but you can install using ZFS if you wish. Just navigate to it and press the enter key. Now select the drive you want to install to and press enter. In the next window I will press enter on yes to continue with a recommended swap partition of 8 gigabytes. The final step before installation begins is to confirm that everything you might have on the disk will be destroyed. Press the right arrow to yes and then the enter key. When that is done the installation will start. After the installation is done you will be able to change the root password, do that if you wish, and then press enter on complete installation when you are done. Once you see the login prompt, OpenSense is ready to be connected to from another machine. You can either connect directly to a physical LAN interface, or you can do as I will be doing, and add the LAN interface to another virtual machine. OpenSense Use the first interface added as the LAN interface if nothing else is configured. So that is the one to add if you wish to use another VM to do the final configuration steps. The default IP address of OpenSense is 192.168.1.1. So type that into the address bar of your favorite web browser you will get a warning about a potential security risk. Just accept the risk and continue. To log in, the username is root 
and the password is what you typed in during the end of the installation. If you did not change the password, the default is OPN Sense. Once logged in, the general setup wizard should automatically open. This might take a little while before it opens, and if it doesn't, you can find it under System, then Wizard. To get started, press Next. Here you will be able to change the name and domain if you use one. DNS can also be useful to change, but if you are unsure about it, just let it stay empty. Click Next Pass Time Server. In WAN configuration, all I will be doing is unchecking the block on private and bogan networks, because they can cause some issues if you plan to use it inside your network. If you plan on use this as your router, they should stay checked. The default IP address of 192.168.1.1 can be changed if you wish. Then finally you will get the option to change the root password again. This is not needed if you have already changed it. After clicking Reload, OpenSense is ready to use. If you change the LAN IP address, you will have to disconnect the network interface and then reconnect it before you can log in again. I hope this was of some use. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.